I'll first go to the top menu and click View and select Entity List. It shows all the entities in my map. The lights, the markers, the enemy soldier, and there's also an entity called World Spawn. Please observe that the World Spawn is, in fact, all brushes together. In other words, I can click and select a brush, and then click N on my keyboard to bring up the Entities window to confirm that it's World Spawn. Just for the sake of demonstration, let's select another brush. Pressing N to open the Entities window. And once again, you can see that it clearly states that this is a world spawn. A world spawn is, well, global properties that will affect your map. For example, we can add atmosphere and rain. Let me show you another cool thing. Did you know that map files are just ordinary text files? Let's copy the map file. This is very important so that you don't destroy your original map. And then change the file extension from .map to .txt. Then open it with any text editor. And at the top, we can see that it says World Spawn. In summary, the World Spawn is the foundation of your map, defining global settings and properties that affects the entire map.